Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday Sunrise. It sure is beautiful out here. One of the things I coach my clients on is rest. Many of you are attempting to do that today, right now. Some of you are preparing to go to church like me, and some of you might be resting at home with your coffee, catching up on your reading, and, and others may just be working or, or working lightly today. You know, either way, I want to talk to you briefly about the value of rest on my first episode of Sunday Sunrise, right? Hope you enjoy it. All right, so I've always been an overachiever, and I typically run at about 110 miles an hour, seven days a week. And that was until my battle with cancer really started to mess with my life. I could, I could do just about anything I wanted to, but at that point when that hit, I was really struggling. I'm not talking about like a trip to the beach or going to the mountains to take time off or something like that. I'm talking about my work and my work in several streams of influence. I really felt paralyzed. I, uh, I can remember I felt useless. I felt embarrassed. And those are some pretty powerful things to have just because I could no longer do what I usually did. There's a bunch more, but you get the idea, right? So here's the kicker. No one really cared. <laughs> The people closest to me actually wanted me to slow down even more. <laughs> more? I felt like I was already dialed down to like 75 miles an hour, right? Any more. And I felt like I'd be the old guy on the highway. Come on, go around me, go around me. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here's the deal, really. The problem was most surely right here. It was me. I didn't understand. I didn't even want to understand the value of rest. I actually felt rest was a waste of time. Yeah, it was a, I was an early riser kind of a guy. And if there was ever a day I didn't have to get up early, for some reason if my alarm didn't go off or some crazy thing happened like that, and I'd wake up like at eight or nine o'clock in the morning, I would freak out inside, like immediately. I'd feel like as if my entire day was ruined, and I felt like I was starting my day like at the end of the day. It felt like I was losing everything by sleeping in a little bit. I felt like I lost everything because I got a little extra rest. I could go on with a ton of examples, but I'm sure you get the point, right? There are many things, and may actually be a few of you out there, that feel or felt the same kind of way that I felt before. So after my brain surgery, which was really the toughest part of my life to date, I, uh, I just couldn't do much. And one scripture that kept going through my mind, I know, bear with me, and I actually hated hearing it, was be still and know that I'm God. I already knew he was God, um, but that whole be still part, I had a problem with it. And actually my problem was being solved as I sat in that recliner day after day after day. I slowly started understanding the value of rest, the details of how rest could actually make me a better person and better all the work that I was really trying to accomplish. It seemed backwards. And it's to those of us living like some of those things in our lives are upside down. For me, it was a time to flip the script on the whole rest and work. If you'd like to learn more about the tips and tools I discovered that actually revolutionized my life, transformed me, that led me uh, to a path of balanced life like I'd never experienced before, this is a big part of what I teach in my program called The Flip. It's an eight-week, seven-step system that really will flip the script on your life as you know it. I promise you, your number one goal, you know that thing you've been striving to get to, right? Done. You'll be equipped with the tools and the knowledge you need to land that dream plane right on solid ground and take off running. Well, with a few short rest stops, of course. Rest, right. I do want to encourage you to take some time. Look at your life, your schedule, and honestly evaluate if you're getting not just enough, but the right kind of rest. Like you should get a minimum of like 20 to 30 hours or more of rest per week. What? That much? Yep. It's not impossible. It's just hard. Now, if you'd like help with that, feel free to DM me here, and I'd love to set up a discovery call with you. If not, then just be watching for an article I'll be posting this week on rest and the rest of the story. Your week starts today, my friends, and I hope that you launch into this work week rested, recharged, and ready for everything that's ahead of you. God bless you. 
And thanks for taking just a little break with me on this Sunday, Sunday.